What is an n-type extrinsic semiconductor? We have studied that an intrinsic semiconductor has negligible conductivity at room temperature, so it is not of much use. To improve its conductivity, impurity is added to a pure semiconductor, and this process is known as doping. Impurity can be of two types, donor impurity and acceptor impurity. Extrinsic semiconductor is basically a doped semiconductor on the basis of the type of impurity added. Extrinsic semiconductor is classified as N-type semiconductor and P-type semiconductor. Here we'll discuss about N-type semiconductor. But first, let us understand what donor impurity is. If the impurity consists of five valence electrons, then it is known as the pentavalent impurity or donor impurity. Some examples of donor impurity are arsenic, phosphorus, antimony, etc. Now, when a small amount of pentavalent or donor impurity is added to a pure or intrinsic semiconductor, the resulting semiconductor is called the N-type extrinsic semiconductor. Thus, an N-type extrinsic semiconductor is a doped semiconductor in which pentavalent or donor impurity is added to increase the conductivity of an intrinsic semiconductor. Let us understand how the addition of pentavalent impurity transforms an intrinsic semiconductor into an N-type semiconductor. Let us add a phosphorus atom which is a pentavalent impurity, to a pure silicon atom. Phosphorus atom has five valence electrons, out of which four electrons form a covalent bond with the four silicon atoms. But the fifth electron has no chance of forming a covalent bond, so it is loosely bound to the parent atom, which is phosphorus. To detach this electron from the nucleus of its parent atom, small amount of energy is required, but practically at room temperature, all such loose electrons become free. So each phosphorus atom donates one electron to the conduction band of silicon atom. We know that in silicon atom, along with large number of donated electrons, thermally generated electron hole pairs also exist. Thus, at room temperature, there exists a large number of charge carriers in the conduction level, due to which the conductivity of the semiconductor increases significantly. Thus, an intrinsic semiconductor gets transformed into an N-type extrinsic semiconductor. Effect of doping process on the relative conductivity of this semiconductor can be best described through the energy band diagram. A discrete energy level called the donor energy level ED appears in the forbidden band. With an energy gap EG dash significantly less than that of the intrinsic semiconductor. And the free electrons due to the added impurity reside at this energy level. They face less difficulty in absorbing a sufficient amount of thermal energy to move to the conduction band energy level, EC, at room temperature. It is important to note that a large number of electrons increase the rate of combination of electrons with the holes. Thus, in N-type extrinsic semiconductor, electrons are the majority carriers and holes are the minority carriers. Since an N-type extrinsic semiconductor has large number of immobile positive ions along with the electrons and holes, so it is electrically neutral. Thus, in this semiconductor, the total number of electrons is exactly equal to the sum of the total number of holes and immobile positive ions, so the negative charge is exactly balanced by the positive charge. When an external DC voltage is applied to this N-type extrinsic semiconductor, we see that the free electrons move towards the positive terminal of the source and holes move towards the negative terminal. Since electrons outnumber the holes, so conduction in an N-type material is due to the majority charge carriers, that is, electrons. The related term is 